Welcome to Vengeon Tips. Today, we'll cover how to program a belt conveyor using machine logic and show you how to simulate a machine logic conveyor sequence. The session will be comprised of two sections, configuring and programming. Prior to getting started, it is important to make sure that you've added a machine motion controller to your design, as it is required in order to gain access to the machine logic editor. Step one, configure your conveyor. Once you are finished designing your belt conveyor, select the machine logic tab at the top of the screen to open the machine logic editor. From here, begin by clicking add actuator at the bottom left corner of your screen. You will then be prompted to select the actuator you would like to configure from the drop down menu. In our case, this will be the belt conveyor. The conveyor will be highlighted in green when you hover over the part number. You can then give your actuator a descriptive name. All associated components will be auto configured. The belt conveyor does not require homing or end stop sensors. So we'll leave these drop downs blank. If there is a unique sensor placement in your design, click add input and select the appropriate sensor ID from the drop down menu. Now we're ready to program. Step two, programming. First, we'll simulate the conveyor to run continuously. Following the instructions from the first session on machine logic, create your base application and give it a descriptive name. Well, in the main sequence, click add command in the bottom left corner of your screen and select add motion. From the drop down menu, select start continuous move and enter the speed and acceleration you would like to set for your continuous movement. Now that we're done, let's press play and see what that looks like. If we would like to simulate the belt conveyor to move for a specific amount of time, click add weight from the command list and type in a predetermined amount of time. We'll then add another motion command, this time setting the motion to stop continuous move. Now press play to simulate the new program we've just created. The last program we'll be working on is to have the conveyor move until a specific event is triggered, in our case, activating a through beam sensor. Starting from our first program, we will add an add weight command, this time setting it to wait for digital input. We will have the conveyor keep moving until the box crosses the through beam, setting the sensor state to level one. Add a command to stop the conveyor motion and a second wait command to hold for 2000 milliseconds. Finally, press play to see your program in action. Don't forget to click the motion tool tip if you'd like to learn more about each instruction. That wraps up our session on programming belt conveyors with machine logic. Thanks for watching and happy programming.